Welcome, here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. UK Defense Ministry, Russia not risking to use its most advanced felon aircraft over Ukraine. Russia has been using its newest Sukhoi Su-57 combat jets, also known as Felon, to attack targets in Ukraine since at least June, but only from its own territory to avoid losing the aircraft, the UK Defense Ministry reported on January 9. This is symptomatic of Russia's continued risk-averse approach to employing its air force in the war, reads the report. Russian air forces have likely employed the Felon jet stationed at the Aktubinsk Air Base around 500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border to launch long-range air-to-surface or air-to-air missiles into the country, the UK Defense Ministry wrote in its latest intelligence update. This is the only known Felon base in Russia, according to the report. Russia is highly likely prioritizing avoiding the reputational damage, reduced export prospects, and the compromise of sensitive technology which would come from any loss of felon over Ukraine, the intelligence update reads. Following alleged Ukrainian drone attacks on Russia's Engels Air Base in December, the Russian military redeployed its bombers to the country's Far East, according to Alexei Danilov, Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council. Politico, Ukraine's cyber officials gathering digital evidence for international criminal court to prosecute. Viktor Zora, one of Ukraine's top cyber officials, said certain cyber attacks Russia has launched on Ukrainian critical and civilian infrastructure could amount to war crimes. Ukrainian officials are gathering evidence of cyber attacks linked to military strikes and are sharing the information with the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Zora, who is a chief digital transformation officer at the State Service of Special Communication and Information Protection of Ukraine, told Politico that Russia has launched cyber attacks in coordination with kinetic military attacks as part of its invasion of Ukraine, arguing that digital warfare is part of what Kyiv considers war crimes committed against its citizens. Classifying digital attacks on infrastructure as constituting war crimes would be a first. And Germany won't rule out Leopard tanks to Ukraine. Germany will not rule out sending Leopard tanks to Ukraine in the future, the country's economy minister told German broadcaster ARD. Of course it can't be ruled out, Robert Habeck said. His comments come two days after Germany said it wants to deliver about 40 martyr infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine before the end of March, a decision Habeck said was good and long overdue.